Welcome everybody. Let's talk about the market. We'll look at the weekly, we'll look at my trade. Yes, I made a trade today, woohoo. And we'll look at the daily chart and the intraday chart to see where was that trade or trades of the day. Um, here on the weekly chart, you can see 53.49 this week has been hit all time new highs, got above the, all, the old all time new high. Um, and so the market's obviously stretching its legs, looks pretty bullish here to me. This is trying to cross back over and go this way. And it may do that probably pretty soon here as we get into July. Still waiting to see if the late May, early June is gonna have some kind of little pullback here. So far, the market has not shown any kind of significant weakness to make me think that's gonna happen. So like I said yesterday, this could be the low right here, but we'll keep an eye on this. Market might just pause, might pull back. But to keep an eye on this, I like personally over the next month because we're May 13th here. So I want to get through the middle of June. I'm going to keep my position small, just chipping away at the market, making money. And then once I'm past this and we're kind of heading towards late June, early July, then I can kind of pour on the steam maybe. Or I might even just keep my position small, especially if I'm doing really well and just making money every day, um, which is probably the most likely scenario. Um, like I said yesterday, guys and gals, you know, for me personally, well, you know, I'll wait till I'll wait till we do uh, uh, we'll, what we'll look at next is my trade today, and we'll talk about something. But yeah, um, June sixteenth still could be something out in this area. Late May could still happen. Kind of waiting to see what's going to happen there. Um, there really is no resistance above this, unless we want to get into that fan fantasy fairy tale world of. Fibonacci extensions that just go on forever in a day. So resistance up there is, well, to the moon. Support we know, resistance we don't. You wanna pull Fibonacci from here and do your 100% and your whatever percents, go for it. 38, whatever they are, all those Fibonacci numbers, by all means, have at it. I don't think they really mean much, to be honest with you. I think it's all, just, you know, puffy clouds and fairy tales when you start relying on Fibonacci. It doesn't, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just something to make people feel comfortable. And that, that's the God, God's honest truth. Real res resistance to support is, is um, much more concrete. All right, so that's it. That's my take on what's going on in the weekly chart. Let's look at my trade and then we'll look at the rest of the charts. All right, there is my trade, $250 for the day. I um, put out a video earlier today about um, margin, um, position size and range. You really should watch that video. It's on my YouTube channel, just go and watch it. I think I, for the members I posted on the Discord server, I think it's in the, I think it's in the regular member chat channel. So that's a really good video, you wanna watch it. So I had a, pretty decent sized position for my account. This is four E-minis. And the range of trade I had was super, super small, made 250 bucks. Some of you gonna say, why didn't you take advantage of all this massive movement, blah, blah, blah. Well, that video, if you go watch that video, it explains why I did what I did. Okay. Um, and like I said yesterday, guys, I don't care what the market does, long as it doesn't trade sideways. As long as this market's not moving sideways, I'm good. And um, I don't care if the market has a, a huge crash, big run-ups, whatever. I just, I don't get excited about the market anymore. I just look at opportunity, no matter what it's doing, extract profits, move on to the next day. That's it, keep it simple. You know, make 50 to $100,000 a year or more and move on. <laughs> it's just like, it's, I really do just, I don't even, worry about it anymore. I don't care what the market's doing. Like from, from the, I don't care what the market's doing far as did I miss an opportunity? I just, I don't care. I really don't think about it that way. I just think about it as what did I do today? Did I meet my goal? Yeah, I met my goal, $250, awesome, great. If I do this every day, that's 1,250 bucks a week, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm uh, working, <laughs> I'm working, I'm working from home, that's my, I haven't said anything new. I guess I haven't really, I haven't really told anybody that. I mean, I think I might've told my, my brother, but I haven't told any of the members of the public or anybody 
I really talked about this, but since March, I've been full-time trading. Like I'm not working that job anymore. Uh, I won't go into the reasons why it wasn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, it was just a transition I needed to make and, and here we are, full-time trading. So if I can pull down $250 a day, if, that's, if this was the least I do every day, like I said, go watch the, the video from earlier today. I mean, the math, the math speaks for itself, right? I don't need to do any more than this. I'm not saying I won't do more than that. I'm just saying being disciplined and having goals, great thing to have. Keep it simple, painless, super small, super small range trades. I'm talking like today I went from 41 to 39 and three quarters. That's all I did. This little dinky movement, literally one and a quarter points. And I didn't trade the rest of the day. And I don't care what the market does, and I don't care what other people say or do or think because it's my my brokerage account, right? And there is no way I'm going to let Schwab or TD Ameritrade or any other broker scam me, rip me off, or the market put me in a bad pit position, or I'm making stupid decisions. No, 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 no. I'm going to protect that account to the nines, and if I have to trade small to do it, great. 250 a day, move on to the next day. Whatever it takes guys and gals to move forward. And that's that's my uh, that's my attitude. Easy peasy, stress-free trading. All right, um, that was my trade. And uh, I have a camper with it. Let's move on to the daily chart. All right, here we are on the daily chart. Um, we can see today was the all-time high, 5349. I think it happened. I kind of only put my glasses on. That's right, I'm at that age. Um, Yeah, it looks like it was about 9 or 10 o'clock this morning. My time here in Texas when all-time high got hit. Not that it really matters. Uh, and then the rest of the day was pretty much a pullback day. I told the members last night in the nightly email that I thought today was going to be a down day. And it was. I thought yesterday would be a down day too, but it, it wasn't. There was data from Universe Data that I used. Oh my gosh, what is Universe Data? Well, become a member and find out. Universe data has been suggesting a pullback in the market. Today we had this really tight range day, 32, fairly tight. And um, that's why I'm happy about making 250 bucks on such a small range day, right? And um, what do I think? Well, here's the cycle lows out here. June 2nd, May 28th, maybe maybe gets out to June 16th. Okay. Do I think there's still gonna be some kind of pullback here? Um, I think something's gonna happen here. Right, something. Is it just a pause and a launch? Is it a little bit of a pullback and a launch? Does it just ignore it? No, I don't care. We're going to the moon. I mean, you know, that's not very helpful, right? Three different scenarios. But I think more than likely, one of the two first scenarios is going to happen. So what am I talking about? I think we're either going to get a pause here and then it launches, or we get some kind of little pullback and it launches. Okay, something like that. I think those are two most likely scenarios. I don't think the market's gonna completely ignore this out here, but it could, and this could have been it. Either way, guess what? As a futures trader, I don't care. I'm serious. I literally don't care, because I'm gonna I'm gonna make money anyway. The market could go down, up, it can twirly bird, jump to the moon, go to the, you know, <laughs> to the pit. I don't care. Because I'm gonna extract profit out of the market no matter what it does. And I don't worry about the FOMO crowd. I don't worry about, is it short or long? I mean, I'm not saying I, I completely ignore those things because obviously you have to, have to get your direction right. But I'm really, what I'm really trying to say is I don't allow myself, I try not to allow myself to get emotional about any of it. It's just cool as a cucumber, man. I've just gotten to the place in trading where none of it really matters. I don't need to get emotionally involved in trading. I'm just easy peasy, small trades. I know they're gonna add up over time and I don't have to follow the crowd over the cliff and do none of that nonsense. I'm absolutely debt free. I don't have any margin debt in my account. The account's fat and juicy and I, you can be doggone sure I plan on keeping it that way. And you should too. All right, so that's my take on think what the daily might do. I think those are two likely scenarios. Pause out here and launch, maybe a dip out here and launch. That third scenario, just go from here, probably the least of the three. 
okay? Could I be wrong? You don't got right, I could be wrong. But regardless of which way it goes, we're gonna make bank. Okay, let's take a look at, um, obviously before I go on to the intraday charts, lots of momentum here, right? I said yesterday, and every time I see these daily charts sitting up in the like, anywhere in the 70s, it's just sitting up here above this orange, this reddish line in the 70s, and you got this kind of momentum going on. That's a very bullish, um, that's got a very kind of bullish signal. The market's just churning around up there above here, just chopping around, not chopping around, but just prices moving north, right? It's going up and it's it's just sitting in the 70s. You'll see this time and time again, this number in the 70s. That means the market's very bullish. Now, if it gets up to 88, 89, 90, it, gets in, it starts getting in the 80s, 86, then you're like, oh, okay. Then the market's starting to get a little burnt out. That's when you gotta pay attention, okay? Now, it doesn't mean the market can't pull back from this point. It can. I'm just saying, um, historically speaking, when it's kind of lumbering around here in this low to mid to high 70s, that's, and it's got this kind of behavior, tends to be very bullish. All right. That's my uh, my 50 cent piece opinion. Let's move on to the intraday charts. All right. I'm going to show you two intraday charts today, so pay close attention. This is the five-minute chart. Look at this signal right down here. What is this signal? That's the Giddis Plus indicator. This indication right here. We get the little yellow triangle and we get the little pinky, purple, whatever colored candlestick. The momentum on the SMI is pretty low. It finishes its little exhaustion and it starts taking off. You're in the trade. So this signal right here is the trade of the day for going long, okay? on the SP 500. Remember, this whole day only had a 32 point range, so pretty small day, okay? This, I'd say, realistically, you could get in right about here where all this congestion is at 35, and where does it go? Well, up to 45. That's 10 points, 10 points. So almost a third, right? You're picking up a third of the total range of the day. That's smoking hot, lots of cash going into your account, okay? That's the first trade of the day, and it was very good. Let's look at the second one. It's even better. Go to the 15-minute chart. And I know I sound like a broken record, but I say this every time to the members and, and the people who are watching this video who are not members, well, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's $7.99 a month. My goodness, be a member already. Stop being so cheap, okay? Look at this, 15-minute chart. I always tell members this, you should be looking at all the different time frames on the streaming charts that I put out for the members 24 hours a day, five days a week. The S&P 500 and gold, I do both. But on the SP, since we're looking at the S&P 500, you should be looking at the five minute, the 15 minute, and the one hour. They're streaming live for my members on the Discord server. Use it, okay? Because I use it. I literally look at the charts all day, guys. I'm playing chess. I'm watching golf because I like to watch golf. I'm, I'm eating some lunch. I'm making a $250 profitable trade. Okay, you follow what I mean? I know some of you are working, whatever, but you gotta watch those intraday charts, all three of them. Now, why is that? Because here's the second trade of the day. It happened at, I think this is 10.15. 10 o'clock my time here in Texas, Central Daylight Time, I guess it is, or CT time or CST time, whatever it is. And what do we get? We get the pinky candlestick. It's exactly at the all time high. I mean, let's just pause here for a second and give the Giddis Plus indicator a pat on the back. Double check. I mean, seriously. Thank you, Giddis Plus indicator, for coming through again. It absolutely nails the peak of the day. You get in the trade, you might wait one candlestick, and ba bam. What is this? Even for conservative, from 5340 down to 5320 another 20 points. There was 30 in the morning and 20 in the afternoon. That's 50 points. The total range of the day, I think we said was 32. Oh my gosh. This total range of trading exceeded the total range of the whole day. Get us plus indicator makes people most likely if they're paying attention and they're patient, a lot of money. And so does the service. And $7.99 is so ridiculously cheap. I still don't understand how I don't have thousands of customers. I don't get it. I put out 
video after video showing me make money. Okay, I make way more money trading than I make off my, my business providing this service. You think I make a lot of money at eight bucks a, a customer? Think about it. I would need like a thousand customers, which I don't have that. I don't get it. I don't know why people don't join. It's just plain weird. But, you know, you want to hold on to the eight bucks? <laughs> you want to hold on to the eight bucks like it's the end of your life? Go ahead. You could be making, potentially making a lot more money. But let's just go ahead and watch these free videos like you always do. And don't invest in yourself. Go ahead and watch your life go by. That's your choice. I'm serious. I'm being absolutely serious. It's so ridiculous that people just hold on to eight bucks like that tight. All right, those are the trades of the day. I can't imagine being a more awesome day than today. This was just an awesome day of trading. We had two-way trading going on today. Okay, I know what my goals are. What are yours? You're going to sit like a couch potato or are you going to do something about it? Um, I think that's pretty much it. For those that want to become a member, stick around to the very end of the video. For everybody else, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to all of you tomorrow. All right, you want, you want to become a member? That's great. There is a discord.com link in the description below this video. Just make sure you read those instructions. Then click on the link, brings you to get a server. Then click on server shop, brings you to this page right here. $7.99. Invest in yourself. Buy three months. Okay, you just pay one month at a time, that's how it works. Okay. Invest in yourself. All right? Spend three months checking out the service. And I'm not going to make guarantees. But if you're patient, the likelihood is you'll make money. Yes, you're going to have to take some time out of your lazy life and put a little effort into it, but you'll start making bank. Discipline, guys, can take you a long way. And then experience should eventually lead to some wisdom, and wisdom's going to help you just get better and better and better. The streaming charts that we looked at today, both the 5-minute and the 15-minute, and there's a 1-hour streaming chart, are down here. So just click on that, and you can watch the streaming charts. Okay, they have the Get Us Plus indicator on there. The one hour chart has the cycles on there. Okay, super nice. And when you join, just say, hey, Get Us, can you give me the link to the gold streaming charts that I mentioned? And you can watch the gold stream. As a matter of fact, I have a couple members that trade gold almost every day. And sometimes I jump in there and trade it. Okay, so if you want to trade gold futures, you can. Okay, you could trade options on future gold futures. You could trade the E micro futures for gold or the E mini. You could do the same thing for S and P five hundred. You could play, trade the little micro contracts. You could trade the mini E mini contracts. And over at Tasty Trade, not that I'm, I don't have a, an account with them and I don't get any kickbacks from there or anything. But they have what's called smalls. So if you want to go even really super tiny, you could trade smalls over at. Um, which is even smaller than the micros, which I can't imagine why anybody would do that. But they're really, they're, they're like smaller than micros. It's just crazy. But they have that. That's called Tasty Trade or Tasty, yeah, I think they're called Tasty Trade now. Okay. That's Tom and his team. And their platform is a really nice platform. I, I would say it's as good as the TOS platform or better or as good. So if you want to take almost a no risk, like tiny risk, go check them out. Join up with them, and you can get trading the smalls over there. I mean, it's just amazing. That's even a product line. Okay, so there's no. Re I mean, it's just there's no reason not to be trading the markets. There's like there's so much available nowadays to trade. I just know how people can't be trading and making money. Guys and gals, I don't want to say the market's free money, but doggone close to it. All right. Um, both the S and P 500 and the gold streaming charts have alerts here and here. So whatever product you want to trade, you can just right click on these channels and turn the alert the notifications on. So if you want to trade SP 500, whether it's the smalls, the micros or the minis, then turn notification on for this. You can do the same thing for gold. Okay, you can have one or both on whatever you want. Okay, premium symbols. I saw a lot of symbols, future symbols go into this channel today. I put I always put symbols in there. I have logic every day that goes out and gets the symbols and puts the symbols in here. There's optionable stocks in there. There's future symbols in there. There's industries in there. There's shorts in there. Okay, I think I saw I think I saw the S&P uh, top 400 or something like this. Mid cap 400 was in there today. Okay, that's interesting. And there were some industries in there as well. 
Really, really nice list of symbols, four files in there. You should check them out. Get us only posts. Every day, Monday through Thursday, and sometimes Fridays, I put the daily video in here after the market's closed, just like this video I'm doing right now. This is the channel goes in. You can go in there. You can watch it right on the Discord server. Okay. Also, every night, later on in the night, I put out the nightly email. So I notify the members to this channel. So you might, when you join, right click on this, turn notification on. Speaking of the nightly email, drop your email address in here. Okay, I don't automatically get it when you join, so just drop it in here. Okay, and you're gonna get the daily chart of the S&P 500 that has the daily cycles on there. <coughs> okay, it has the support and resistance lines on there. Really, really nice. And it, I usually include two to three sentences about my opinion about what I think the market's gonna do the next day. Like yesterday when I put out, or last night's email for the members, I said, I believe the market's going to pull back because universe data says it is. Okay. And guess what? It pulled back today. Okay. And I think it's going to pull back some more because uh, I haven't looked at the universe data today. Did I? Well, I don't know. I'm not going to give that away for free. Okay. Can't do it. You want it? Pay the eight bucks. For the members, read your email, email tonight because I will always tell you my opinion about what I think the market's going to do tomorrow. Solar activity. Well, there's been a lot of solar flares lately. The sun has been very active. It may be, just maybe starting to calm down, but we'll keep an eye on this. This has a lot of impact on cycl cyclicality on the earth, plant life, human life. You would be amazed how much the sun and the universe in general and our Milky Way galaxy and on and on and on, how it impacts our life. I know it sounds weird, but it's true. Fixed income. I just put a corporate bond in there today. I think it was QVC. I think it was QVC. Really good bond. I mean, nice, paying like over 10% yield to maturity for the, like the next 19 years. Think about that. How would you get paid 10% for the next 19 years on your money? Okay. It's speculative bond, but not too speculative. You want to join. Every once in a while, I'll put bonds in there I think are good. Sometimes I invest in them myself. If you're a fixed income person, I know how to hunt down corporate bonds, man. I am a freaking hawk. When it comes to finding corporate bonds, I have a stash of corporate bonds myself that I've been holding for a while, and they pay me nicely every six months. Okay, some pay every month, but most pay every six months. So if you're the kind of person, usually it's an older crowd, but even the young, let me tell you something. <clears throat> for you young people, you should be trying to save a thousand dollars if you don't have a thousand bucks, and you should buy a corporate bond. And I'm a hundred percent being honest. Don't try to go for the quick, uh, pot of gold and the rainbow. Don't do that. Okay. You're going to be disappointed. I know. I know you're young. You're hot. You're on, you're on fire. You got great hormones. You want to go, go, go pedal to the metal. I totally get it. Don't do that. Learn from an old fart like me. Okay. Save a thousand bucks, buy a corporate bond and repeat the process for the next 25 years of your life. You'll be retired when you're 50. I'm being dead serious. Don't sell the bonds. Okay, in the way you're going to start, join my service, find this bond, invest in it. Now, I can't, I'm not, you know, this is all my opinion, right? Just for the record, I'm going to give my opinion, not financial advice. But my, that's my opinion from based on my experience and what I've been through in my life. Let me tell you something right now. If you have a cash or a stash of corporate bonds, as you start getting later in life, you're going to be a happy camper, man. While everybody else is still working and sweating, trying to live off Social Security, you're going to be like, well, I think I'm going to go to a Caribbean vacation. Well, how do you do that? Well, I made a good decision when I was 20 or 25 or even 30 or even 35. Okay. Listen to this old, old dog. Okay. Do what I tell you. You're probably going to do very well. Up here is member chat, SB 500. Uh, we do a lot of our chatting, those two channels right there. We have a pretty decent group of guys and gals. Um, it's not a huge amount of membership, but the membership is slowly growing, which is great. Uh, come and join us. Okay, just think about this. For $7.99 a month, you're getting gold and S&P 500 streaming charts. You're getting the alerts to go along with it. You're getting the premium symbols. You're getting the nightly, e uh, nightly I mean, the daily video, the nightly email, me tracking the solar activity, and occasionally some wisdom about how to retire early. For $7.99, God dog, buy me a bag of chips and cookies too. All right, let's talk about the rules. Because if you break the rules, then it'll get us here. That's me. You're going to be in your face saying you broke the rules. Naughty, naughty. Okay, 
The rules are, number one, be respectful on the server. No foul language. No dirty links. Don't post your garbage on my server. I'm a Christian. I'm a conservative. Proud of it. Not ashamed. Don't bring your leftist politics here. Yes, you can join, but just don't bring your politics. I won't tolerate it. Okay. Be nice. Be respectful. Be kind. You do that, man, life is good. Okay. If you're going to be a jerk, then I'm going to confront you. I'm going to delete your content. If it gets bad enough, I'll kick you. If it gets real bad, I'm going to ban you. It's going to be your fault because you didn't follow the rules. So don't be that person. Next is the refund rules. Make sure you read the refund rules so you're informed. Okay. And lastly is the disclaimer that I'm not a financial advisor. I do not give financial advice. No, I do not. Everything is opinion only. I don't care if it's me or anybody else posting anything on this entire server or in my videos. It doesn't matter what's being said or done. Everything is strictly educational purposes only. Got it? You're responsible for your own trades. All right. And that's the way it's got to be. You want to know why? Because if you're responsible for your own trades, you got skin in the game. It's going to help hone your ability and your craft to become a better trader. And when you do get losses, it's going to make you better. I hate to say it, but it's that's the way it works. And next time you're going to do better and you're going to work out your risk management skills, which is really, guys and gals, let me give you a little hint. You know how you become a good trader? Understanding risk management. I'm t this is the number one thing that new traders, even moderate veteran traders, get wrong. They don't understand risk management. You've got to know how to manage risk. You do that, you'll make more than you lose probably. That is it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't wait any longer. Become a member. It's going to be a great summer. I got a feeling the market is probably going to be pretty bullish this summer. And then maybe later, Christmas time, 2025, I think just maybe we're going to have an epic bear market going out into sometime into 2025. Um, and we'll see how that all plays out. Uh, but there's going to be plenty of opportunity in the S&P 500, either up or down, doesn't matter. Same thing with gold. Okay. I might even add more products, guys, guys and gals. Not yet. Not yet. Need to get. I need to get a little more stable, get my feet wet for a little bit longer. We might add a third server. We might go with another product. So far, S&P 500 and gold have been going really good. Um, but I'm not sure. I might add another product. I'll think about that in the future, but just a heads up. Also, lastly, I have a piece of software that I've been working on that is called the Auto Cycle Finder. Now, you know I'm into cycle analysis. I have a piece of software that helps find cycles automatically, and it is rocking the house. I'm not ready to release it yet, but I probably will. It'll be a subscription-based product. The thing, I've been toying around with it. It's absolutely amazing. So I'll let everybody know when that becomes available. I got to figure out how to get it to the point where it's a little more reliable and how do I distribute it and license it and all that crap. All right. All right. That's it for now. Talk to you all real soon again next time.